Hello, my Facebook friends. How is Facebook land today on this wonderful weekend? I hope you guys are having a fabulous Saturday. I just thought I'd hop on here because first of all, I'd like to say I love you guys because you guys are amazing. I've had a lot of you guys following along, commenting. I posted a picture of my health journey. I should say multiple pictures because like a collage of my health journey here on Facebook, as well as, um, you know, I share across all my social media platforms. Many of you guys know, uh, because I am that super sick person, that 13 departments at the Mayo Clinic said would never ever get better. I now share my health journey um, on all kinds of places, like TikTok, I do health talks over there. I share with people the importance of proper nutrition and their gut health, as well as I share with you guys here on Facebook, and I got a YouTube channel now, and you know, I've had some people be like, will you write a book about your life or maybe do a podcast? Because what you have to share could really change people's lives. And, you know, I just, I share with you guys because this is the deal, right? I've never, ever tried to pretend that I'm like some super like important medical person, right? Hi, Tatamata, how are you, honey? Right? Because that's not the thing. I share with you guys because during my health journey, right, through all these decades of being super sick, my eyeballs physically falling out. Yeah, I said that my eyeballs falling out, right? Because bilateral retinal detachment, my eyes, the retina that holds your eyeballs in the socket came off of both of mine and my eyes were literally falling out because of all the inflammation in my body, right? I've had every single organ at one point and another affected at this point. Um, I know people look at me all the time and they're like, uh, you don't look sick anymore. And then they see my other photos I post and they're like, whoa, wait a minute. Or they'll look at my eye. If you don't like eye anatomy, look away, right? So I'm gonna show you guys, if you actually look down here, you can see the scar tissue. We joke around in our family. Um, if you didn't die, we get to joke around about it, right? Because laughter is some of the best medicine. And yeah, I may have not died, but I did feel like Raggedy Ann for the longest time with literally my eyeballs flying out of the eye sockets and everything being, you know, attacked at one point or another. And so, you know, when 13 departments of the Mayo Clinic say you're never ever gonna get better, and you're like, well, voila, right? I'm not cured, I'm combating every single day. And so I try to share with you guys things that can not only create hope and inspiration, but also help you understand that there might be a quality of life out there that you don't even know exists. Because I'll tell you what, even seeing 13 departments, subspecialties, right? Being that person where entourages of doctors come in to look at you and figure out, whoa, why is this person's eyes falling out, right? Why does this person not have a bladder lining that's grown over a year now? Why is every organ in her body being affected, right? And I joke around, right, that I have a gremlin. <laughs> if you guys know or have listened to one of my health talks, I talk about my gremlin is AKA my immune system because that's what it's like. Um, it's like gizmo and it's great when it thinks it's helping me out, but when it gets crazy and it comes in ready to party, it starts damaging and destroying my healthy cells and tissues in the process. And when it thinks it's helping me, it starts kicking some ass, but unfortunately it's my ass that keeps getting kicked, right? So I've learned a thing or two during this health journey. And so I share with you guys because I try to bring value to you guys. Even if you don't ever wanna try what I'm trying, I want you to understand why I'm putting things in my body because it might make a difference for you, especially in the middle of a pandemic if you're worried about trying to boost your immune system and you're hearing all this stuff left and right and you're trying to figure out like, you know, the, one of the biggest questions I get always asked when people reach out to me is, Heather, aren't you scared? Because you have a seriously compromised immune system. Yeah, when you have as many autoimmune diseases as I have, right? For those who don't know, I have lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia. Literally, I have so many chronic illnesses. It goes on and on and on, right? Our lovely gremlins, yes, Tatamata, we have them. If you have a gremlin, put gremlin in the comments because you know what I'm talking about if that's the case. So I thought I'd hop on here because I always do inspirational stuff and I try to share with you guys on my journey. And I also try to share with you guys value of things that you may not know because this is the deal. I often get asked like, how did you flip and learn all this stuff, right? Because I, you know, that's the deal. I'm an accountant by trade with a background in law. I had big plans before my eyes literally started falling out, right? Talking to you about your gut health and your bow chicka wow wow being gone because your hormones are out of whack or your gut is jacked up or maybe you're dealing with chronic inflammation and pain or you're like, whoa, Heather, I have some of the stuff that you talk about, right? That was not part of what I planned on doing with my life, but here we are. God uses our, you know, circumstances, our loss, our pain, our frustration to bring us right into the moment where he can use us. 
And I tell people that all the time that, you know, I'm really careful with like how I share things because I know some people come on and like, oh, she's selling you snake oil and she's just trying to make money off you guys. And I tell you guys all the time, I would share what works for me if I knew it could change your life the way it changed mine. You wanna try it, try it, don't, don't. Do I like the idea that what I use is affordable for what is out there? Yeah, do I like the idea that I can help people by having a way that's affordable for them to take care of themselves? Absolutely. Do I know not everybody's gonna use and do what I do? Absolutely. And I share with you guys anyways, because I want you to understand, you might not know what you don't know, just like I didn't know two years ago, right? Before I lost my mom to multi-organ failure caused by pharmaceuticals, specifically gabapentin. So since I do have that crazy gremlin as an immune system, I do know a thing or two, a lot of two, about inflammation and pain and what it feels like to be to the point where you don't wanna do this anymore because it's so painful, right? I deal with, um, and I say deal because it's not like I'm cured. There's not a cure for chronic illnesses such as autoimmune diseases, right? And so I'm gonna share with you a few things because a lot of people don't know this. And when we're scared, we freak out, we start trying to research things last minute, and sometimes we do uh, stress buying, and we end up buying things that we think are trying to help us, but they're not really helping us. So I'm gonna share with you a few things, right? So as my title mentioned to you guys, if you're worried about things like inflammation, right? What is inflammation? Anything that says itis in the title, right? You got chronic bronchitis, you have asthma issues. Those are two inflammatory issues, right? You have, you know, the um, diverticulitis, all of the inflammatory stuff going on in your body. Those are all the itis family. That's inflammation, right? If you have um, stones, if you're developing stones, kidney stones, gallstones, a lot of people don't realize if you don't have a gallbladder, you actually need to make sure you're taking care of your body and putting more enzymes in it to help break down things that cause causes inflammation in the body. So I talk to you guys all the time about gut health because a lot of people don't know the correlation between the two, between your chronic illnesses and your gut health. And so I wanted to share with you guys because I do these huge health talks on TikTok. They can go anywhere from like an hour and a half to two hours, but it goes really in depth. So obviously I'm not gonna go in that depth here, but I wanna at least just give you some cliff notes, right? Specifically, what I wanted to talk to you about today, right, was um, my fancy tea, right? Um, so I'm gonna explain to you what's in my fancy tea, right, and why I drink it and why you might want to understand why you may wanna get yourself a fancy tea or put certain ingredients in your body if you are dealing with issues as well. So many of us, especially in the middle of a pandemic, want to make sure we're boosting our immune system. So the first thing I want to explain to you is that when you go out and you stress buy and you buy those vitamins that are natural, right? They only have to be 10% natural to call them natural. So when you look at the back of what you're actually putting in your body, you might start to notice that there's things called synthetically made vitamins, right? Why do you care about synthetically made vitamins? Because you think you're boosting your immune system. You're trying to fight the good fight with your body and give it what it needs because you recognize that supplementation is a necessity. But you're buying this natural product that's out on the shelf or at your Whole Foods store or wherever it's at, right? No knock at any stores here. But you think you're doing yourself some, you know, some help, but you're actually, you could actually be doing some harm as well. A, you could be throwing away your money because you're literally putting it in your body and it's coming right back out, right? So goodbye dollar bills, right, y'all? <laughs> it's gone. But it's a security blanket because you think you're taking something to help yourself, but you're actually not. The second part of it is, is that you might be taking a vitamin that has synthetically made vitamins. And in those vitamins, why do you care about synthetically made vitamins? They might have something called binding agents, right? So not just for the chronically ill like myself, but any of you guys out there that are like panicking right now, because let's be real guys, shit's getting real around all of us, right? We need to be boosting our immune system. We need to be taking care of ourselves. And so we rush out, we buy these vitamins, and then little do we know that when we take a look at it, they're actually synthetically made and they have binding agents in them. And those binding agents can actually bind to your cells and damage and destroy them in the process. So all of a sudden you think you're trying to help yourself, but you're actually not. You're either wasting your money or you're damaging your cells in the process. And it can actually get worse than that. Like I don't wanna do the scare technique, but if you absorb too many synthetically made vitamins, things that can happen, like if you know, you're expecting cleft lip and babies with too much vitamin A synthetically made. Those are things that can happen. I don't share those with you guys to scare you guys. I want you to understand that just like I didn't know two years ago what all this meant, 
I'm sharing with you because it could be very, very different for you, right? So with that being said, is that some of the things I get often asked about, right, is how do you deal with your pain? Like, you were taking 200 Vicodin 10, Oxy, Dilaudid, right? People see that picture of me that I posted today where they see this, right? I'm going to dig in my little box here and show you something, right? Heather's not so happy bag, right? One of these guys was a big one here, gabapentin. I did a whole gabapentin warning video on my YouTube channel because that's what took my mom's life. I used to take three bottles of this a month. I had a standing strip for 200 Vicodin 10, Oxy, Dilaudid, Flexrol, muscle relaxers, that's what Flexrol is, right? Immunosuppressants. They were trying to keep my gremlin from destroying me. So I kind of know a thing or two about dealing with chronic illnesses. And so I'm sharing with you guys because you might not understand why you want to look at your gut health or what you're putting in your body because you think you're boosting your immune system to help yourself, but you're actually damaging you in the process, right? So one of the other things I want to mention to you guys is that a lot of people don't think about it and you hear it and you're like, oh, you should drink water, right? Guys, we should be drinking lots of water, lots of water. Why? Because we need to be flushing out toxins in our body constantly. Now, drinking water alone is not enough, right? So we've already talked about why you wanna make sure you're putting proper nutrition in your body because supplementation is a necessity, just so that you're aware. I have people who come around and they're like, oh, I eat super healthy, um, I eat vegan, raw diet, this, that, you guys. It's not to pick a fight with you, but you cannot get what you need from food alone. If you don't believe me, go do your research. Go look it up. Soils, minerally nutrient depleted. That's why supplementation is a necessity. That's why I'm explaining to you why you want to put in your body because you think that you're boosting your immune system, but you're actually not. So with that being said, I am a walking testimonial. Obviously, I cannot pretend and take stuff that my body is not going to work with, right? So now that I'm pharmaceutical free, now that I'm trying to avoid my eyeballs falling out, right? Because I have severe open angle glaucoma as a result. One of those medications is a beta blocker. So I have to keep inflammation at bay in my body. But what a lot of you guys don't understand is inflammation is the root of all evil. Like I say that like a mastermind scary guy, right? On the cartoons, but seriously, it really is. Cardiovascular health, number one cause of death, right? Usually caused by chronic inflammation. So when I talk with people and they reach out to me asking me like, okay, so what are things that we want to look at? You want to be detoxing, right? You want to be flushing out all that garbage in your body. Um, not only because of the fact that there's a lot of viruses and illnesses going around, and it's not just about the big C, but you know, C virus going around. It's also getting ready for school season to start. So influenza is going to be out there. There's going to be all kinds of issues. So my gremlin, AKA my immune system is going to be on over height and alert and ready to start fighting. So I got to make sure that I'm giving it what it needs to do what it needs to do. So I want to make sure I'm detoxing my body. So, um, the special fancy tea you saw me drinking is the way that I detox my body, right? In this tea, there's um, an ingredient called butterfly pea flower, right? People are like, whoa, you're putting urine, butterfly urine up in here? No, mm -mm. butterfly pea flower, if you go and do your research, can be very beneficial for the body. Um, and the reason why I wanted to share that with you is because one of the things that it does is changes pH balance in the body, right? Why is that important? I'm gonna tell you some things. I wrote some notes down here because I, just like you, when I was not feeling well, wanted to know why and how I could change it. And then when I did figure it out, I sat with naturopathic doctors. I researched real stuff, not fake news, right? Got my information and figured out why my body, I call this a Bugatti, right? The most expensive luxury vehicle in the world when you treat it that way. Otherwise it feels like a Pinto, but why my Bugatti was running good. And the thing is, is that, there's so many things, right? We're going through seasonal changes right now. You guys might feel like barometric pressure gauges. And even without a pandemic, you probably notice that when the seasons change, you feel sick. If that's you, put sick in the comments because you probably do. Because what happens is your veins constrict, limits blood flow, right? Thickening of your fluids and your joints can occur when the weather starts to get super cold. Your arthritic pain might get worse, your pain, your inflammation. Your little, you know, gremlin like mine gets feisty and decides, whoa, what's happening here? And it thinks that it's trying to help you and starts to maybe throwing out some fibrin to repair what it thinks is damaged. And now you got scar tissue attaching to different places, right? So you want to make sure you're flushing out all of that. So one thing, one of the great things about the butterfly pea flower is that what it does is it changes the pH balance of the body. 
Why is that important? I'm gonna explain to you, I'm glad you asked. So why pH balance? I wrote some notes because obviously I could go on and on about all kinds of stuff, right? So the pH scale is like one to 14. You might remember back in science class or biology or wherever you learned it, right? I always tell people all the time when I talk about enzymes, it's the same way. I'm like, oh, I do recall talking about that some point in sophomore year when I was maybe, you know, like cheating off somebody else's paper. Now who knew I was gonna go back and have to revisit this, right? But on a scale of one to 14, seven is neutral, right? For your pH balance. Now, other different parts of our body need to have certain pH balances, right? So you wanna have that acidic, alkaline balance because it different parts of your body need to be at a certain place, right? So seven is neutral. If less than seven, you're acidic. Greater is alkaline, right? So ideally, you want your body to be slightly alkaline. Now, for someone like me, that is super important because of a lot of reasons, right? I used to have to deal with chronic yeast infections, right? I had a standing script for Diflucan. I had chronic UTIs. Um, I had a fungal, rare fungal ball, right? An aspergillioma grow in my sinus cavity because I wasn't breaking down things. Those kind of overgrowths are signs that your body is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. That's why I tell people it's really important to look into the pH balance of the body and not only that, have proper enzymes on board, specifically proteolytic enzymes, because if I'm dealing with chronic inflammation or I'm worried about extra inflammation, I need to make sure I'm putting more of that in my body to break down you know, things, because literally proteolytic enzymes go through the body like Pac-Man gobbling up pesticides, herbicides, fibrin, right? That free-floating stuff that I talked about that can cause pain to get worse. Um, cholesterols, it's like cleaning the blood, like Pac-Man going through there. So I take those, but I also am gonna go ahead and add things that are gonna help change the pH balance of my body because I'm getting to all parts of it, right? Get that yuck out and change the balance of pH balance of my body because the environment if it's alkaline, then it's gonna make it harder for the chronic illnesses inside me. And when I get hit up with some kind of bug, right, some invader coming in, that it's breaking down with the enzymes I have in my body, but also changing the environment so it can't exist, so it can't replicate. It used to be that I used to get chronic cyanitis bronchitis, and if you even looked at me with germs, I got a sinus, and uh, I got pneumonia. Now it's very different because like I said, I've been pharmaceutical free for two years now. So I need to know what to put in my body to make sure that my immune system is doing what it's doing. Like I said, cause I'm not cured, right? There's not a cure for an autoimmune disease. It's not cause I don't believe in God. Cause you all know I'm getting good with that man. It's because my body needs to have what it needs to be to be supported, right? The other part of when you have imbalances in your pH is that inflammation can be worse, right? Bronchitis things, like I said, chronic sinus, bronchitis, anything in the inflammation family, that is, you know, you don't want inflammation in your body. It's bad, bad on all levels, right? And then high levels of acid in the blood can cause the body to pull minerals from things like your bones. So like calcium can be pulled from your bones because it's it, it's your body is trying to do what it needs to do. And so what happens? Now you've got other issues, right? Um, osteoarthritis, pain, other things going on, weakening of your bones because it's pulling from those from other parts of your body because it's trying to do what it's supposed to do and it doesn't have what it needs on board. Um, the other thing is, is that people that are concerned about cancer and autoimmune diseases, you know, those things thrive in acidic environments. So that's why you don't want to be in that area. Not to mention, sometimes, like I mentioned about the enzyme side of it, is that fibrin sometimes encompasses cancer cells, making it difficult for the body to identify it and break them down accordingly. Again, another benefit of why you wanna make sure that you have proper enzymes on board. Um, but with that being said, you know, there you can do your research. I highly recommend that if you wonder about anything I'm sharing with you that you do your research. Um, make sure to use scholarly documentation, not Google search and just the first thing that pops up. But um, you want to be careful, especially if you are worried about things like kidney stones or gout or um, like I said, yeast, fungus, chronic UTIs, maybe you're worried about parasites, right? Um, that is why, you know, people talk about it all the time that they're like, whoa, look, did you see that deworming thing, Heather, on TikTok? And I'm just, I shake my head. I'm like, you know what, I'll stick to my blue tea because um, as I was joking with a family member who actually ended up getting um, COVID, I was explaining to them, it's really important to change the pH balance of the body, right? Detox your liver, your kidney, your pancreas, your blood, you know, flush out all those toxins. And guess what? As a wonderful side effect, you might be, a, you know, addressing that male pattern baldness. Um, <laughs> of course, they didn't find my humor very funny because they're like, wait a minute. But in seriousness, it's true. Like, 
butterfly pea flower can help stimulate the um, blood flow to the scalp. And so better skin, hair, you know, those are things that are just a benefit of it, right? So I tell you guys all the time, you know, what you put in your body is super important. Now, some of you guys might be like, hold up, Heather. I see you put tacos in your body all day long. It's true. I love food now that my gut health is on point because I have many food allergies and a lot of people don't realize that things like celiacs is missing the enzyme in your gut to break down gluten or all the other bazillion allergies I had that required me to go ahead and carry an EpiPen. And so I am taking care of my body, starting at the gut level, and then I'm giving it things just like I would adjust these guys. I'm adjusting things I put in my regimen that are natural to help me because I'm not perfect. I'm gonna eat my tacos, right? If you love your taco, you got some taco love, put some tacos in the comment. There's things that, you know, am I gonna eat horrible every single day? No, I'm gonna try to take care of my body always because, but I'm human. And I know that I'm gonna be eating things that necessarily, um, that aren't necessarily the best for me sometimes. And so I need to be flushing out those toxins. I need to be breaking down that stuff that's causing inflammation and pain. I need to be getting rid of all of it. So I need to also be making sure that I'm consuming water to flush all that out. And so a lot of us, like I said, do your research. You'd be so surprised. Um, I joke around all the time because people are like, oh, so you hate big pharma now? No, I don't hate big pharma. I don't hate big pharma. I don't hate, you know, um, my Mayo Clinic doctors or any of my doctors for that point because we were practicing medicine on me. We were trying to keep me alive and I give thanks to God every day that they did so I could get to this point of where I'm at right now so that I can be living a different life. So I can be sharing with you what I'm learning along the way that I didn't know two years ago and how I've been able to change my life and others along the way. And obviously there's so much more information out there, but I just thought I'd share with you because I was literally sitting here drinking my blue tea. And the fact that, you know, not all supplements are made the same, right? And so when we are panicking and we're rushing out there, I thought I'd share with you guys because you might learn something new. And so if you learn something of value, put value in the comments. If um, you just want to say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from. But I just thought I'd share that with you guys because those are the things I get often asked is, Heather, how do you deal with the inflammation if you're not taking, you know, 200 Vicodin 10 and Oxy and Dilaudid and all that other stuff and prednisone and things that you had to take to take down the inflammation? How are you fighting that? And how are you, you know, how are you boosting your immune system in the process? And these are the things that I do. If you want to know more about how I'm doing it, great. And if you don't, don't, but I hope at minimum, that maybe you learn something and that it helps you understand that our bodies are beautifully made. And it's true. If we do what it needs to do and give it what it needs, it works beautifully. But if we don't and we don't listen to the signs of its deficiencies and we just keep going thinking, oh, it's going to take care of itself, we're probably going to realize that that's not the case, especially if you are someone like me. So like I said, guys, I hope that you are finding whatever it is to help you stay healthy especially during all these scary times and not knowing what, you know, and like I said, I understand and appreciate there's some people that can't, you know, maybe, um, you know, get all the treatments that they need because it's expensive being sick. So if you want to know more about what I'm doing, fabulous, reach out to me. I'd love to share. Um, if you don't, I just hope that you at least do your own research and figure out what it is that you could be putting in your body that can make a tremendous difference, that could give you back a quality of life like I have been able to get. And in the meantime, also boosting your immune system to help because like I said, it's not just the big C word that's out there. There's all kinds of illnesses that are going to start coming up now that fall is here as well. And so stay healthy, my friends, figure out what works for you, find your cup of tea, drink it every single day. Like I said, whether it be, you know, prayer, affirmation, meditation, self-development, it's not just about supplementing this. It's about supplementing this too, because when we get emotionally distraught and that's where I'll leave it with is that if you don't know what B complexes are, I tell you, Go figure it out because they are responsible for so many things and the coping mechanism, both emotionally and physically. So if you're not aware of that, you definitely want to get on point with that for sure because it could be tremendously different for you. And especially, especially in the middle of a pandemic when we're all just trying to hold ourselves together, that it may be something that becomes life-changing for you. So anyways, guys, God bless. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and I'll talk to you later.